Hi Geminis, welcome to your weekly energy reading for the week of November 11th through the 17th. Oh, that's what I forgot to talk about in the first couple videos. So I did Aries and then I just did Taurus. Um, and I did not mention, but 1111, it's a very powerful portal. So um, I forgot to mention that in the other readings, but um, that's a very fun way to start off the week. But anyways, we are going to go ahead and get started pretty soon here. Thank you all for being here. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to join. In. I'd love to have you here. Um, like this video, comment down below if you enjoyed this video and it resonates with you. Um, and to let you all know, I have a booking website now. So please check out the booking site if any of you are interested in booking a reading with me. I also blog on there. Um, what else was I going to say? Ah, I have a 25% off discount going on um, until the 22nd of November. So go ahead and use that to your advantage to get a discounted reading. Um, also, I'm doing a giveaway for November and December. So any of you who have booked a reading with me in November or December, you are um, automatically entered in this giveaway. So if you get three readings, that's three entries in the giveaway. So yeah, and then what the giveaway is, I will be doing more details in the future about it, like or probably on the 1st of December, but it's essentially gonna be crystals, Palo Santo for smudging, for any of you who are interested in that, um, and maybe a third and fourth thing. So I'm still working out the details, but for sure it's gonna involve crystals and Palo Santo. But uh, yeah, that giveaway is part of the advertising booking readings with me. So, oh, and then I have Patreon, which is also very exciting. I'm actually forgetting if I already said that. Um, but yeah, all my links are down below. And if any of you felt like you got something from this, I'd appreciate an energy exchange for any of you who are guided to do that or um, are wanting and can do that. So I have donation links in the description as well. Yeah, I don't know how I'm ever going to get better at saying those messages, <laughs> but we're going to get started pretty soon. The camera is going to be up here. Um, yeah, I might start putting timestamps so then people can go straight to the reading. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So there will be a timestamp. Um, so those of you who follow me on these weekly energy readings, um, I'll be sure to start mentioning that at the start. But let's go ahead and get started. The beginning of the week's energy, we've got effortless, blossoming abundance. Wow, that's a clear message that there's just abundance effortlessly being drawn to you in the strength card. Um, and just, just some of you either see it or you don't see it or a mixture of both. But this is trusting that the abundance is supposed to be effortless, which sounds counterintuitive, right? But that's honestly what's coming through here and so the 11 11 portal and the 11 slash 12 the november 12th is the full moon so these energies are bringing you realizations that abundance is your birthright it's effortless it will come to you naturally have strength resolution perseverance <laughs> and money is yours and abundance and health and and well-being and getting to experience your journey to the fullest it's all yours so wow that's the beginning of the week middle of the week's energy we've got movement that's very interesting we got waterfall and then we've got movement more water going on here so lots of emotions this is scorpio season so it makes sense so river and movement indecision <laughs> okay so you're not sure where where the flow is taking you you're in the river you're in the current and there's something where you're like which way is it taking me is it going this way or is it going that way if i go with the flow is it going to like something good or something bad there's there's something like that that you're still trying to figure this whole um journey out you know and we've got four of cups and so that's the thing you do have more you do have control over where you go even though there's a flow and that can sound confusing where it's like, I think it's called determinism where it's like the idea that 
all decisions are just fate and it's just, whatever is going to happen is just what's going to happen. Um, it's a letting, like, it's like letting go of control, um, but it's to me more like saying, oh, I'm not responsible over my own actions. That's a little bit of it. I, that's not, you know, that's just an opinion. That doesn't mean that if you um, believe that, like, you know, that just everything will just happen and it's like you have no control, basically. It, it doesn't mean that if you believe that, that suddenly you're not taking accountability. It's just, it's more of an empowering thing. Like, you know, doesn't that sound kind of heavy to think you have no control over your own, your own journey? Like, so the Four of Cups, this is reminding you there is actually an opportunity with the flow. It's not just about, you know, cross your fingers and hope. I mean, it's kind of like that. It is like hoping for the best. <laughs> but it's also like you can aim for the best. You can strive for the best for yourself while also being in the water. Um, and I don't know why I know this feeling so well, but when you're in the river and it's just like, whoa, and you're just going everywhere and you're just, you're like, whoa, you're gonna try to avoid the rocks, you know? You can see the rocks, you can see the scary parts and sometimes it's underneath the water so it's like you don't see it and, it, and the bumps hit you, but you will be able to see certain rocks and, and twigs and things that in your raft that you're gonna like, whoa, Oh, whoa. and it's gonna feel kind of fun like you know like you can steer your ship left and right and you're going down a stream in the video game you know oh it's because I play lots of video games where it's like whoa try to there's a, a line of coins you know and you're going down the Mario slide and it's like make sure you grab all the coins while you go down the slide you know it's like that so that's what's going on for you this week it's like try to get as many coins as you can <laughs> try to try to you know not get derailed as well as you have in your own ability it's like the fact that you're focusing on this indecision is showing that you've got focus at least that's another way to look at it it's like maybe some of you can't see that you're in the river and can't see that it's happening so fast um, but maybe actually when you focus on the indecision you actually slow down the speed of the game and you can slow motion go down this slide and it's like if you go slow motion it's impossible to miss the coin, you know? It's like, all right, you still can, but you would very slowly not take the coin, you know? So that's kind of what I'm getting for the middle of the week. I'm just getting like, you have this opportunity to change the pace, to slow it down, to make this feel a lot more effortless. Or if it's going really slow, you can get in a quicker current. Or if it's going really slow, it actually might just be that you're going really fast and it's like, um, that's okay, but like maybe when you go really fast, you overwork your body in ways that you didn't recognize. So those are some other messages coming through. And like, I need to do more healing for myself physically. I need to do more yoga. But anyways, end of the week, we've got volatility, volcano. So we go from water to pfft, something happening. You reach the end of the river slide, okay. And that takes you to fourth chakra, your heart, your heart center, Archangel Raphael with the two of pentacles. That's very interesting that we go from the four of cups with this like sort of two of swords. This is basically the two of swords to me. Four of cups, two of swords, two of pentacles. Your two of swords and your two pentacles, uh, two thoughts, the two physical places or things, two different things in the physical reality with two different decisions that you could make, you know? It's kind of like, like, like this, you know? There's one pentacle there, there's one pentacle there. There's w one coin over there, there's one coin over there. Either decision you pick, there's money, there's abundance, there's support. Um, and that's what these four cups are trying to tell you. It's trying to tell you like, it might feel like these are lacking something what it's lacking is the motivation and that's that's the old that's the real indecisiveness here for some reason you're not motivated to go either way why why aren't you where is your motivation where is it and if if your motivation ends up not being either of these ways go a different direction go where your motivation goes what are you motivated to do so 
Yeah, and then I'm just getting like the end of the week, like your heart is gonna explode with the answer. Your heart will know. Your heart will know what you what the heart wants to do. So pretty interesting. So that was your reading, Gemini's. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I liked that. That was very poppy energy. I like it. Like, you know, boom, you know? So very good week. Lots of things are ahead of you. A lot of abundance is what's coming your way. This is saying it is really quite effortless. You can't make a wrong decision here, basically. Even not making a decision will still work out, you know? You know, like these four, these all these different cups lead you to the same thing. You know, it's like, make a decision, you you get love and abundance. Don't make a decision, you get love and abundance. You want to make a decision, but you, you wait it out. You know, love and abundance, it, it all comes through. So, <laughs> I hope that resonated with those of you who are listening. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. If any of you, yeah, I don't know if I wanna do the messages at the beginning or the end of the video, or if I wanna do it both times or what, but yeah, I'd appreciate any of you. Well, I appreciate all of you, of course, but I'd really appreciate if any of you are interested in doing an energy exchange donation or getting a reading from me. Yeah. Yeah. It's still so weird for me to just say that because it's like, I just want to do the video, but it's like, I guess I'm supposed to like advertise myself. And it's not that I don't want to advertise. Well, it's like kind of. But it's like, it's not that I don't want to advertise myself. It's just like, it just feels weird every time. I just want to do the reading. <laughs> so it's weird, but. <clears throat> yeah. Later when I get video editing stuff, I do have video editing software. I just don't have a good computer for it. But later I can see myself finding a way to just like say a really solid thing and just edit into the beginning or the end. like to have like the intro sequence and the outro sequence. I see why like people on YouTube like have those sequences. It's like, they don't really care about this. Well, maybe they do care, but like, I'm, I don't know. I'm going back and forth, Pisces. <laughs> so yeah, so that's a lot of your guys' energy too, I think. I think you guys are gonna go back and forth a lot with this indecision energy. So you might continue to make different decisions that go one way or another. It's okay, it's all okay. It's all a part of the ride. Just, just, just go with the flow. Just, just let those decisions happen. Um, which I think actually you're quite good at, Gemini's, or whoever's listening. So, woo, vision quest. Yeah, this is a like a fun time for you, a fun week. So, all right, goodbye, everybody. Much love to you all. Thank you for listening, and yeah. That's it. <laughs> Take care, everybody.